Good, mute that. Okay, so beam fitting bands, work out on the beam, doing air, air resist. You pick whatever band you, you can stick with a one size fits all band. You can chop and change as I'll be doing for the, the, the big muscles, bigger bands, and work your way through, guys. You all know what I'm talking about. Well, there might be a few people at first time ever later. So just stick with one band if you're brand new, guys. All right, you get there. All right, done, done, done. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. Right, let's get the beams. Let's get either side the beam with the feet. Good. Sometimes you know, I do this and I'm like, how long is this beam? Must be my eyesight. See, I don't know if it's shorter or longer. All right, press repeat. Yeah, everything's done. Fantastic. Feet long to the beam. Let's get the muscles all working then. <clears throat> Rock the feet forwards into the rear. Bit short, sharp, and snappy. Hips forward, butt out to the rear. Good, get a nice focus. Make sure the insteps, because we're going a bit faster, just make sure the insteps are alongside and not being pushed out to one side, okay? Get the little itches out the way. I've got one there in my hip. Let's give that a quick scratch. Good, forwards into the rear and increase it. Hips further forwards, butt out to the rear. Now, on the beam, you're unleashing the power of the beam. When we're working out with our muscles, it's going to be that little bit high with the bar. So when you dip down, when you're doing any squats or front, front squats that we're doing on the beam, inline on the beam, you go to the depth that you're happy with. And that's going to be where I am, okay? All right, hip forwards, back out. Now take the chest down to parallel with the beam. All the way, nice and down. Good. And bring it back up. We're doing impressions of those. I don't know what they're called, them duck things, the, the, the beaks dipped into the glass, didn't they? Who can remember those? Good, down we go. Three, two, one, nice and tall. Nice and tall, back hands facing me, straight away we're there. All right, there, good, getting right through the body. Getting that coolish air going over the arms now, isn't it, in the hands? We'll soon get that warmed up. So shoulder height, and we're going to straight away W position and get a hand span going, little fingers open up from the thumbs. Fantastic, just nicely to there, guys. Good. And we come to the repetitions as well. So I'll be putting my different bands on. If you start putting your bands on, you're thinking, oh, I put too many on, or I didn't put enough on, just nip off the beam, undo and put next to one, guys. You've got enough time, okay? Good. Now up on the toes, up on the toes. A4 pair between the shoulder blades, and we're taking that even further back. I'm frothed at the mouth already, and I've just had half a glass of milk and a banana okay long arms up we go there and straight away let's reach for the ceiling up we go try and touch the ceiling up on the toes bring the elbows in all the little tricks that we have the things that we build up in some uh, on times on the beam other times we just get it launched up there because we can because you're nice and fit but nice and nimble fast speed agility powerful and elasticity of the muscle groups two for the price of one ready go and there and back, and there, good, and there, and a count down for three, and a two, and a one, and then a shake out. Okay, now it's not a shake out, like a, like a crazy mad thing. Somebody's cut the strings off and the elastic's all wound up. All right, good. Feet alongside the beam, pointy fingers out. Here we go, no matter what we do, always two spinal mobilizations at least, and go three times either side. Watch that fingernail. Feel for tightness, and oh, I've gone way past where I thought I would do, and I'm bringing it back. It's in the shoulder. You're always going to get the tightness somewhere. We have to. If we didn't, we just keep spinning round and round and round. And going what that would do to our internal organs. So I've gone a bit further that way. Good. And this way, taking that round, my second one. I've got one left here on the side. Again, it's a bit faster than normal, but if you're doing it slowly, and there's no problem there either. It's all okay, guys. That's the third one round to there. I'm going to bring it back, middle of the next one. It's arc the hands down to the side and lean over any side you want to. Feel the stretch in the waistline. Don't go any further. Just hold it there. Good time to think about 30% abs and pelvic floor as well. Bring that back up. It's about eight seconds. Take it over the other side. If it wasn't eight seconds, it was a tug's eight seconds. It may have been five. It's an issue, isn't it? About there. Two, one. Bring that nicely back up. Let's get three nice big deep breaths. Hands up and out. Don't push it to 15. Just gently reach out. Turn hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, squishing it out. Turn it up and breathe in. And down we come. Good. And squish it out. Oh, you know, it feels so good. We'll just do 40 minutes of these. Breathe in. 
Excellent, elbows high, here we go. Three second isometric push in, go. 80 to 100% of your strength. Two and a one, hook the hands over. It's the chest pull, ready, go. One and two and three. And we're bringing the hands at fingertips now into our T-bands. Really important you think, good S-shape in the spine, nice and tall. Bows the ship out the ocean, three second push in, go. One and two and a three. Fingertips to the front, all fingertips, guys. Long arms, like we did the other day. Push the arms out, three seconds, go. One and two and three. Feel that right down to the abs. Last one, above the head, fingertips again, but push them up, bring the elbows in, go. One and two and a three. And we're going to arc those hands all the way down. Here we go. Little trick that we all know and love so much. Rotate those shoulders front and then rotate them to the rear. Good. Shake it all out. Right foot onto the beam. Left foot. Now place it alongside the beam. Look at the foot and bring it out one width. There. And that's more or less your hip width part anyway. We've got nice railway tracks. We're ready. Gently. Just dip it down and back. There. And back. So we're getting nice, big, deep stretches. We're elongating those muscles. The pelvic floor is offset. We're releasing the power of the beam already. We're going to go for crucifix or T-shape. Here we go, hands up and out. It's on the foam and push it down. There. Looking, not too many of these. We've got bands coming up. It's swan wings. Here we go. Arc it down and back. Good. Down and back. Now, feel how stable you are on the floor. That's approximately hip width apart. But it is super stable. There's no wobbliness in the sole of the feet. Wobbliness, yeah, in the soles of the feet. No transfer of body weight. Looking good for a three and down and two. And here we go for a pause and hold it there. Turn the hands up, breathe in. On the rotation, you feel the difference in the stretch. Exhale down, squish the hands out and towards the beam, go around for two. Keep the feet nice and straight. Turn the hands up, breathe again. Dairy cheese weight shape, exhale down to the heart, squishing it out, back round to me. I'm going to arc those hands nicely down and shake it out. Good stuff, guys. I'm going to swap all to the other foot. Get yourself a little drink now if you need to, you've got time. Whilst I scratch my leg. Good. Beans, I won five pounds on the lottery the other night. <laughs> okay. So foot alongside the beam. We're getting a measure. The foot's coming out one foot width. It's nice and straight, all parallel. We're ready. And dipping it down and back. There we go. You could, we know we're going to feel a difference this side. As you stand back, can you feel how the glute, the leg on your beam, is actually engaging as we come upwards? Because the pelvis has got a very slight tilt in it. It's liking it. Down we go. There. Next one's going. Hands are going to come up and out. Here we go. There and out. And I push the foam down and bring it back again. There. Good. And that's a huge stretch as well because that heel on the beam is staying nice and flat and all on the floor. Good. Power. Core strength. That is swan wings. Here we go. And down. And the hands coming up. We get a nice full capital P posture standing up and bring it back down. Chest rises up, waistline comes in and back down again. Fantastic. My fingertips are just touching the top of the beam. Whatever your maximum is, if it's not touching the beam, you're getting to your own maximum. That's all good. Three and two and one pause. Turn the hands up, breathe. Exhale to the heart, squish it out and rotate towards the beam for two. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down, squish it out, back round towards me, and we're going to arc them down, move the foot off the beam, good habits, rotate your shoulders forwards, and then to the rear. Good stuff. Let's get to the beam, guys. Let's do some three steps. So get the brain working as well. Get the brain working, opposites, and join the dots, feet, head, body works. Okay, right foot to front, left foot behind, set up on the beam, heel over the back, clip your hand over, bring it forwards. Three steps go. One, two, Three and back, three and two and a one. Good stuff. Keeping it going to the front there. Going to get the hands working, working through the core of the body. Hands coming up and out and step. One, two, three. Some good movements there. Three, two. Turn the hands up. Relax, tall tower. And one and two and three. Return three and two. And stand easy in position. Your hand the back and go for one and two. No hangovers, how they do it. And three. And two, thumbs locked to the front. It's there. 
and one and two and three. Feel the lower back working and three and two and a one. Lock down to the side. Last one. One, two, three and three and two and a one. Take the hands up and out. Back heel can come up off the beam. Push the foam down and back. Step forward one there and down and back at my right knee. And step forward one there and down. And back up my left knee and step there and dip. Down we go. And good stuff. Arc the hands down. Three steps to the rear. Go one and two and three. Hands up and out. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale to the heart. Arc it nicely down. Step away. Shake your leg. Gonna go the other side. Then we'll pick up our first band exercise. Okay, so left foot the front, right foot to the rear. Every time you get your foot onto the beam, make sure no hangovers. Not, well, oh, there's a hangover, I'll put it right now. Every time. Heel over the back, that's hangover, bring it forwards. Here we go, Sucked it over, steps. One, two, three, return three, and two, and a one. And again, one, two, three, return three, and two. Stand easy position, hands behind the back, there, and go. One, two, three, return three, and two, and a one. Hands up and out, turn up, relax, tall tower, and go for one, and two, and three, return three, and two, and one. Crucifix T-shape, and go. One, two, I've done half swan to the front for ages, and full swan, haven't we? Three step model, one of my favorite ones. Stand in this one again, there, go. One, two, three, return three, and two, lock the thumbs to the front. There, and go, two left, one, two, step, and back, one, two, and three, and to the side, locked in, guys, go, that looks good, one, two, three, and three, and two, and a one, pose, hold, hands up and out, turn up and breathe. Exhale to the heart and stop dreaming of your band on the beam, arc the hand nicely down, step away, shake it all out, and so I'm starting with my, not my maximum, it's a, a maximum single band, sometimes I'll, I'll double it up. I'm starting my orange band, guys, all right? It's legs, so I'm thinking big muscles. If you're one size fits, fits all band, that's fine. We're going to do a couple of the sides. So you can do an exercise here and think, oh, no, I could have done more. You'll have a chance. We'll swap over one side to the other. We're doing three times either side. You can build the bands up if you want. That's what I'll be doing, okay? So don't worry about the first, first one. Let's get it going. I've got my two handles on. Standing on the beam, your comfy place, my comfy place on the beam is about a third of the way down from the back because I've got that visual there, all right? Have you noticed how you can stand on the beam these days and you can point your fingers out, like all this sort of stuff, and you don't feel like you're going to fall off? The band's going to go under that front foot. The front foot's got to stay flat. If it doesn't, you're going to bring tears to your eyes. Back foot can come off the heel. The stance is going to be there, dip it down, and the hand's there. Like, see that shape there? Good stuff. We're ready, we're gonna stand up. I'm gonna count the reps, we're gonna do five. Up we come. One, nice and tall, then dip it down. Good, and up we come. Two, that's the way, and back down, there. And three, this speed is what's supposed to be the best speed for your weight training. There's four, four resistance, that's what we're doing, there. Last one coming up, there's five, nice and tall. Then we dip it down, Take out that off the band, and we're going to swap it over to the other foot. The other foot to the front. As you stand up, you get released. The heart rate comes up. You're like, whoa, feeling powerful. So don't change your band yet. Keep the same band on for this side. Here we go. Down to there. Get nice and comfortable. And up we come. One. Good. And we dip. Fantastic. And two. Good. There. I look like I'm looking at a recording. Three, and back to a very good recording. And back up, there's four. Nice and tall every time. Dip it down, and up we come. There's five. Now I dip it down. Arc and down, step away, and shake it out. This is, oh no, I put too much on, take it off. Or I'm going to whack another band on. I'm going to put a red one on. Now, with this session this evening, as we go along, what I want you to do is, when you think, because it's all your choice, it's your technique. We do a nice tight squeezer there, and you squeeze your glutes at the same time. You fire up that core more. 
releasing more energy, and therefore you've got more power. So that's a little tip, a little not a tip, it's a trick that we all know anyway. So don't forget that one, all right? And for you, muscle memory, it'll make your ears, shoulders, and hips want to stay in line. And if they're not, you'll feel it straight away. So here we go. It's a Chinese man that I knew he was. So here we go. All right. Right foot in the front, left foot behind. Now watch your balance, guys. So get on there, no hangovers. Here we go. Balance to off either side, dipping it down, focused. It's five again, we're ready. Up we come. Oh, feel that there, one. And we dip down, good. Now, if you've just kept the same band on, that's fantastic, well done. There, good. And three, nice and tall, good. Capital P of positive, guys, it has to be. There's four, fantastic. Dipping it down, and up we come. That's number five, two, one, then dip it down, arc that around, step away, shake it out. We're doing a little bit of recovery between each set, it's not a frantic, nil quick Monday one, but a nice muscle strength and during session, unleashing the power of your beam. And remember, now you all know the story, I was finding these in weight rooms in gyms I was working in where I took my beams along because the guys done my class decided to do less weights in bare feet and work their core, got less stronger. But we all know that anyway, don't we? So onto the beam, left foot to the front. Good. Right foot behind. No hangovers. I'm focusing on talking, focusing all the time. Here we go, tipping it down. There. Good. Ready? Good, you're all ready. Up we come. Bows for shift there, nice and tall, one. And then remember, you have to squeeze the glutes extra, squeeze that grip, there's two. And you'll feel that extra power. You'll feel those muscles work. You get a bit of isometrics going on as well. Good, and down. Here we go, number four, we come, nice and tall. Same speed down, same speed back again. And number five, nice and tall there. And bring it down, arc it down, guys, step away and shake it out. One more set, so I'm gonna put on what colour have I got here? It's blue. From a, a conversation earlier today, Sandra, it's blue. All right, there we go. All right. <laughs> okay. There. So I'm putting up there. These are, these are mine, okay? What I'm putting up. You guys will do this on Wednesday. I'll be banging these on to, yeah, yeah, great. I'm adding that up. Never be afraid as well. Remember, you think it's not right now. You think, you know, oh, I am going to put another band on. And you do. Then you come to stand up and you're like, what if that's too much? Just stop and get off the beam, guys, and I'll hook it. Okay? All part of the working out. Okay, here we go. Right foot the front, left foot behind. There. Focus. The person who changes their workout all the way through is the confident person who knows what they're doing. The one who doesn't is the idiot who gets injured. Dip it back down to here, guys. We're ready. Five either side, and up we come. Now I'm squeezing those glutes in that grip. There, that's big, and back then we go again, there. Good, and back again. This now, you can feel it, no matter what bands you've got on, we're all working two out of 15 out of 10, all individual, we have done all the time, that's three, two left. You can feel how this is a full body workout. There, and dipping it down. Last one, number five, this side, up we come, two and a one, we dip it back down, arc that down, step away and shake it out. Remember, after this, if you can, within 45, 50 minutes, protein, really important. Rotate those shoulders around. We're gonna have some breaths in a minute and do a quick stretch after we've done this one. So, right foot to front. You know what, if we walked away now, do this one, do some stretches, we'll be at 22 minutes, you've done a full body workout. Here we go. Unleashing power of the beam, dipping it down, there. Fantastic, we're ready. That's five, focus, squeeze, go. Up we come, bows of a ship, there, good. And dip it back down, that's one. And up we come, and two, fantastic. And down, good. You know what, I'm really enjoying this one. This is my choice for next week. Down we go, there, looking good. And four, and dipping it down. Brilliant, back up, that's five. Then we dip it down, arc it down, guys. Don't do your nickel yet, just place them down nice and gently. Good. On that last one, feel the recovery's in. That's your muscle memory. Your body wants to breath, but it wants to get rid of the old gas that's in, in the lungs, the old rubbish that's in there from the workout, from the muscles. Here we go, three, up, 
out, turn up, breathe. Exhale. And again, out, up. Exhale. And again, out, up. Exhale, squish the hands out, palms facing me. It's going to be a five second hold when I say go, hand tap the front block hard as you can. Inhale. Go. And shake it all out. Good stuff. Adjust my bands, guys. I'm coming back down to my orange one. It might be too much. I might have to change it. Doesn't matter. So quickly on doing those, we've got the time. Get the right ones. If you can hear that funny noise, our neighbours bought a Romanian rescue dog. It barks at Eastern European. Weird. Okay. <laughs> so I shout at it in French. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, right foot to the front. Posture on the beam. So we're doing minimal exercises. What we're doing is working right through that body, okay? The principles of beam fit unleashed. Right foot front, left foot behind. Front foot stay nice and flat. Now, if you've got your big thick orange band or a couple, try and get the bands under part of the heel rather than the sole of the foot because it can dig in a bit. Upright rowing, capital P for posture. We ready? We're aiming for here. If you get to about there, level with your chest and upwards, that's all good. That's all okay. So, Teaser testers going on, professionals. I'm surrounded by you. Ready? Up we come. There's one. And back down. That's the speed there. Looking good. And two. I'm not putting any more on after this. I don't think yet anyway. There's three. Up we come. And down. Fantastic. And four. Good. And back down. And last one. And five. Up we come. And then back down again and arc it out and step away. Now your first ones you're doing, you got nice, that's good technique. Arms are here. As you get tired, they might start creeping up and doing this a little bit. Don't worry about that if you're going to your maximum, that's just something that happens, all right? So if you can there, if that crisp creeps in, you don't worry. Other foot to the front, let's balance this off then. Here we go. Cool. Another itch. I'm either going to win big time on a lottery or my Nordic walk today with the guys. I brought stuff back into the house that I should, I should not. Teach me both through long grass with shorts on, won't it? Okay, here we go there. Nice and tall. Looking fantastic, by the way, guys. Ready? Go. Up we go. One. And back then. This is powerful, isn't it? You can feel the power. I've chosen the routine and night, so as you're working through, you can feel how strong you are. Remember, if you need to, we squeeze those handles even tighter and squeeze the butt at the same time. There's four, and back down, good. Last one coming up, it's there, fantastic, and nice and slowly back down again, step away, shake it out, adjust the bands if you need to. I'm gonna leave it as the orange one for now. On the third set, I may put another one on. I'll wait and see how I feel. Okay, good. This is the first session we've done like this with three sets, guys, but big, powerful stuff, okay? Resist, yeah, we've done, but not on the beam. All right, here we go. I've got my right foot back on again. So we're getting a nice gap between each one for that recovery time. There we go. Five, good posture, ready, tight grip. Go, one, and back, and two, looking good. And three, and back, fantastic. And four, yes, there. And five, and there, good. And stepping away and shaking it out. I think this was the exercise where Wayne, about four or five weeks ago, five weeks ago, he one of his bands snapped, all right? Just, it just caught him. So this is where, remember, do check around your bands either side. I know you can go, some of you get your, your own replacements. If you have problems finding or what to get, whatever, let me know and we'll get it all done the same as last time, all right? Okay, so other foot to front. There. Here we go. Good. Remember, bounce off either side, same length either side. Nice and tall all the time. And go. One. And back. Now I'm squeezing those handles even tighter now, getting the good working as well. Introducing a bit of isometrics. There. And back. Have you noticed how many counters has been good this evening? There's four. 
<laughs> yes, so we're impressed. You can count to five. It's five and back down to here. Good. Step away and shake it out. Well, I'm impressed. All right. I'm going to put an extra band on, guys. I'm going to be a bit cheeky with this one. I'm going to put a red one on. Why? Because I can't find the yellow one. That's, that's me set up correct, isn't it? All right. Let's put that one on. Cool. I'll tell you what, guys. Of all the exercise you do, endorphins get going when you do work like this. It's the strength thing. All right. So people who do, who do resistance, you, you do resistance. Even if you think, I don't do resistance. You do resistance, guys, when we do the Pilates. That's one of the biggest ones going. You're building up those endorphins. You think you're more relaxed, more able to handle stress and pressure and everything else. Okay. Why? Because I said so. Okay, hands are there. <laughs> Onto the beam. All right. You ask a question in life. From now on, you know, say, oh, that's it. Well, how do you know? Because Tug said just say that. They'll have a clue you're talking about, but they'll take it off you. Here we go. So I've increased. Is it too much? I don't know. Stand nice and tall. Five and ready. Squeeze and go. One. Oh, feeling awesome. There we go. Good. And two. There. Good. Liking it. Feels rotating. Got shoulders working hard. Down the spine. Now an eight shape working hard. Here we go. Number four. I told you the counting is good tonight. There we go. And up we go again. There's five. And back down again. Step away. And shake it. We're gonna now. You're gonna feel that spine working super hard. Another stretch it out in a second. All right. Rotate the shoulders round. Go. Oh, I've got another itch there. Here we go. Left foot onto the beam. Now, hopefully up by now. We're just another half an hour in. But you're starting to feel these dots joining and how you've done an awesome workout. So here we go. And balanced, tall, grip, squeeze, go up. And back, good stuff. And two, and back, fantastic. And three, up we go. And there, good. And four, awesome. Squeeze tight, don't lose that grip, but keep it going. Keep the balance upwards, good posture. Last one, bring it back down, take it away, put that there, good. And shake everything out. We'll take the shoulder out. If by this stage, and, I, and there's not the guys on the screen, if you're pressing play, you're thinking, well, this is all right. You haven't put enough on the band, all right? So rewind and start again. Okay, feet in the side of the beam, hands to thighs, bicycle chain. Follow me along. Here we go. Breathe in. Exhale. Chin to the chest and sliding down we go. Hands on the knees, shins, fingers top off. The feet, fingers in front of the toes. Cat stretch, chin to the chest. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Three, two. Breathe in, exhale, reset. Oh, had a big clunk there, I stood back upwards. It's watching my time. Good, nothing's fell off, fantastic. Take the hands up and out, turn the hands out, turn up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, pause and hold, arc it down to the sides and give it a nice shake out. Fantastic, okay. All right, so we did some on uh, in the week, didn't we, with um, our female artists. I'm trying not to cover those. What I do want to do next is the arm curl, the bicep curl. The one where ladies look at me funny, and you know what I'm going to say. They say, I told you, I don't want to get big muscles. And I say, you can't get big muscles and I can't get pregnant, okay? All right. Good. Before I stopped drinking, I was being thinking, am I? Okay. All right. Left foot to the front, guys. Left foot. Want the band in your right hand, all right? So we've got a little bit of leeway we're pulling across the body. Standing nice. Okay, so the grip is, I'm starting it. Now I want to get it to there. Depending on what band you are on, depends on where you start from. So I'm going to start about here. My big teeth tester first. Heel on, hand to other hip. I know what it looks like. It's there. Elbow in the side, but put a bolt through it and keep it locked in. Ready? Go. One, and down, good, and two. Now this is where you can feel it's bicep curl, so yeah, it's working to that full body, feel that? All the way, right down through the legs, every single one, guys. Getting your lithium with dorsi, breathing muscles going, there. Let's do one more, here we go, I believe it's five anyway. That's five, and back down, good. Step away, recover, swap it over, and I get this screen in the middle. Good, so it's not just the biceps on the beam, you can feel that posture and postural muscles working. 
right down through the body. So we want the left foot and the right hand this time onto the beam, there. So we get a slight pull across the body. So the body wants to rotate at the same time, but we're keeping a nice straight line. So we're there and up we come. One and back down, good, there. Now you're 30 minutes now, we can squeeze the hand, but I want you to start to think abs, there. Think abs at 50%, pull them in. Squeeze the glute at the same time. Here we go, there. What's that, the chest coming up, fantastic. Well, we've got two left, one left, I lost my count, haven't I? We'll do one more after this, here we go, down we go, there. Last one, up we come, it's there, and back down, and step away. And the beauty of these is, when you bring up, touch the angle of my hand, see the hand, it's not like that, it's like that, there. So your wrist, that's true wrist neutral. On a straight ball, people put that there, and you put tension up your arm here, it's not good, okay? All right, swapping that back over. I'm gonna put a bit more tension on this, so not an extra band, I'm stepping a bit further up the band, all right? So increasing it. So I'm there. Again, if it's too much, I'll just stop and rewind. So what have I got here? I've got the wrong hand on, that's the wrong side for the start. Okay, there, that's better. Sort it out, Took. Okay, here we go, guys. And one, oh, that's better. There, I'm back down again. Good, there, and up we come. Two, the creaking noise is not my body, all right? There, it's the band on the beam. That's three. Good. Look at the focus. Now, can you feel you want to get pulled over to one side or the other? There. One more after this. Here we go. And up we come. It's there. And back down again. Fantastic. And the other thing to note as well, when the arm comes up, it doesn't, it's not there. It actually comes slightly into the chest here. That is a natural position for lifting. All right. And that's the beauty of doing it on the beam with, with this and not a straight barbell bar and a set of weights in the gym or a machine. Sometimes machines can be the worst. I don't like machines. Okay, right leg front, left hand underneath, second one this side. Posture, nice and tall, bows of a ship. Here we go. And up and back. I might be put a cheeky river after this one. Here we go. That's two. Good. And back down again. Fantastic. And three, good, and down, good. Two left, up we come, and back down. And last one of these, up we come, put those abs flapping down, good. And down to there, guys, and then step away, and then click one on. And then any time you think, oh, I've got to get rid of some air out of those lungs, breathe in, slow it, and blow out really hard. Place number one, one. No rush with getting your extra bands on. This is the gap, this is that recovery that the muscles need. While they're recovering, they're recharging like little batteries, getting more energy and they're ready to go again. Good. Oh, let's, let's do it. Oh, let's be awesome, shall we? All right. So no matter what, I want you to pull a big monster face on this one all the way through. So when people remember the go, oh, look at them working super hard. Okay, so right foot front, left foot behind, left hand on, Standing nice and tall. Last five of these this side. Ready, squeeze nice and tight. Glutes, abs, and hand this time. Go, up we come there. Good, wipes of the eyes there, and back down, good. There, I'm putting big, so if I'm on somebody's screen, and back down, I'm just scaring the kids. Ready, look we come, there's three. Good, big wipes of the eyes, and back down, good. Two left, here we go, up we come. There's four, working hard, and back down. Feeling fantastic, up we come. They're looking fantastic and dip it back down and relax and step away. Now on that last one, when I pulled up, uh, the body was, oh, you wanted to go the same way as the band. Corrected it, core work is super strong, guys. That's what this is all about. So here we go, swapping it over. So remember, you can turn your bicep curl into your full body exercise, not just hold the bicep. Ready, foot on, heel on, good posture, nice tight grip, abs, butt, hands, go, up we come. And back down again, good. Fantastic, keep them trying a nice straight line. If on the last one, remember, you get a bit wobbly, it doesn't matter. It's a lead muscle strength and endurance. It's called a cheat, but it doesn't matter. It's all about getting the exercise done. On the last one, you won't injure yourself. That's number four, and back down, good. And number five, up we come, it's there. And back down again, and we step away. And give everything a nice shake out, like it. Good, I'm turning my beam that way round. I'm coming down to an orange band. So 
there and here. Because I haven't put abs in for this one, but what I have done is, um, took, took the wrong band off, is uh, lower pelvic floor, guys. Last one, here we go. We're going to bring the feet out, semi sumo. Watch your balance. I'm putting the band under the right foot only. So it's there. All right. You can see where we're going with this one. Dip it down to here. So straight line as we stand up, go there. If it wants to pull over one side, feel the glutes acting really tight. Dip it down again. And up we come. There's two. Good. Nice and tall and back down. There, pelvic floor working super hard, and the doctors. There, lower abs working super hard. And down we go. Good. And back up. One more after this. Ready. Dip it down. And up we come. Brilliant. Pause. Dipping it back down. Undo off the foot. It's going to the other one. Without that, look at that. I'm, doing, I'm showing off now. <laughs> Ready. You should have saw me practicing that one earlier on. All right. Don't want to look at the fireplace right now. Let's get that hooked on. There, got it. Dip it down. Here, we ready? And up we come, nice and straight. Bang wants to pull you over one side. Down we come. There, good. Nice and deep. And up we go again. Deep pelvic flow. We can feel that one, can't we? And down we go again there. And up we come. That's three. Fantastic. And we dip down. Good. And up we come. That's four. Good. Nice and tall again. Dip it down. Squeeze those handles, remember? Feel those glutes getting nice and tight. Body sculpting, liking it. Dip it down. Fantastic. Take that away, guys. Put the beam back nice and straight again. Put the bands down. Living room is wrecked. Feet, either side of the beam. Before we go any further, bend the knees that position. Bring the hands to there. Clap. Well done. Go. Good stuff. Right, now the breath. Hands up and out, turn up and go. Exhale down to the heart, squish it out, turn up and go again. Exhale down, squish out, last one, turn up, go. Big, big session, exhale down, well done. Unleash and power of the beam. All the rest, putting joint dots together. Just going to unmute you now. Good stuff, all right? We put it all together. Now, you're just from there, you can realise now, so many exercises we could do, but you don't have to do loads to do a full body. Big clap, guys. Fantastic. Well done. Have a great night. Really enjoyed that. That was good. Yeah. Red good. face and everything. Thanks, Chad. Good stuff. Catch you later, all right? Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good. What a Thursday night.